Most root crops have trouble growing in hydroponics, and a workaround typically is to fill a net pot with soil and use that in hydroponics. These are daikon radishes, which normally get large, but if you find that you like to grow these in your particular garden, you could often grow those in a unit such as an arrow garden, because these, with little effort and so many little days, that it's easy to do. What you need to do is, on each day that you come into your garden, grab a hold of the plant, and you want to lift that. Let me pull the leaves up a little bit. Lift that up like that. You can see that the arrow garden sponge comes up with the plant and the radish is inside of it and the roots are going down into the hydroponic solution and you just leave this lay a little bit off to the side and if you were to do that each day what you'll find is the radish will grow and it will uh, split the seed sponge that comes with the arrow garden uh, baskets, which are these white units that you see that are s sitting inside of the uh, arrow garden deck. Lots of roots there. The uh, daikon variety grows quickly. Out in a normal garden, it will grow to the size of about a foot. But in comparison to other varieties, such as the German Giant, which you can see here, the daikon variety tends to do quite well in hydroponics. It will be a uh, fantastic uh, selection, you know, if you like to grow radishes. In comparison, Tomatoes, especially the microdwarf varieties, tend to do quite well in an arrow garden. The arrow garden sprout, which is a 10 watt unit, is useful because you can cut off uh, part of a uh, terminal uh, branch on the uh, microdwarf tomatoes and quickly sprout that and becomes a full-fledged uh, tomato plant uh, from the cutting. The one on the left has been there for a while, the one on the right is establishing roots. In fact, I am even trying to grow what is called a parthenocarpic cucumber plant. Uh, the selection is the uh, Isnik, and this uh, produces cucumbers without pollination. You could tell from how healthy it is that I expect to get at least a few cucumbers out of this particular small arrow garden. Uh, the bowl only holds a little over a gallon, so that is uh, quite substantial for what is a 40 watt light and a small reservoir. Lettuce, of course, uses only about uh, a gallon or maybe a little over a gallon per plant and and a variety like this dark rodent grows very well in a small unit such as a narrow garden or a Mars Hydro Hydroline 12. So if you're looking for a challenge, using a daikon variety of radishes will be a great start to quickly find out if you could also grow the uh, root crops in your arrow garden or perhaps in a two inch net pot. These are young and already jumping out in growth and I would anticipate that these will grow probably up to about five, six inches in length and be quite thick. Would be a fantastic addition to be able to quickly harvest and to provide an additional crop for your table.